Welcome to Rotowire TV. I'm Heather Ankeny. He's the expert, Chris Liss, answering our questions. Got a fantasy football draft question for you. Every year, new crop of rookies comes. We all get excited about it. What position is more viable to target a rookie for when you're drafting? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, all these rookies come with a lot of hype. I mean, you don't make it to the NFL draft as a skill position player unless you were really good in college. People follow college football, it's huge. They see these guys score touchdowns, make big plays, and you want to draft them. Typically, historically, running backs were the most productive from going from college to the NFL their rookie year because it's not a position where you need to learn that much. I mean, you get the ball, there's a hole, and you hit it, and you, you run through it. You have vision, you, you use your instincts to kind of avoid other people. There's not like a whole lot of difference between being a running back in college and the NFL. The one difference, though, is a lot of these guys played in systems where there wasn't a lot of passing, and you got to be able to pass block, pick up blitzers. So sometimes rookie running back lose carries, and you're like, this guy's so much better than this boring veteran. Why are they trotting out Thomas Jones yet again? <laughs> you know, he, wherever he goes, he uh, takes... I miss Tom. I miss the old Thomas Jones. Well, he was okay like 20 years ago, right? But he's like 40 <laughs> years old, 50 years old, whatever he is, and he's taking <laughs> carries from useful, from players with good skills, and you wonder, why is LaDainian Thompson out there? Because these guys know how to pick up the blitz. They know where to stand, how to block. And sometimes rookie running backs don't know how to do that. But that said, actually running the ball, it's pretty easy for a rookie running back to get right in there and be effective. Okay, so rookie yeah. running backs, fine. Quarterbacks and receivers typically take longer to develop. Receivers, second year, third year is when they break out. Same thing with quarterbacks, takes more time. But something has changed the NFL. You know about Cam Newton last year. Yeah. Andy Dalton had a really good year. In recent years, Matt Ryan, Joe Flacco had good years as rookies. And there's this kind of symposium um, uh, uh, last year, I think, from a bunch of offensive gurus and offensive players, you know, I think Andy Dalton was part of it. Uh, Mike Leach, who was a Texas Tech coach, he was kind of an offensive guru. Brian Burke, who was runs a site called Advanced Stats. Um, they all talked about why are quarterbacks doing so much better right out of the gate when it used to be such a hard adjustment even 10 years ago. And the reason is that the college offenses are more similar to pro now. And in the summer, they do things like play seven on seven, where it's like a quick read and release, read and react, get the ball in there. You know, quarterbacks in the NFL, the rush is coming really fast, and it's a real passing league, and you got to go through your progressions. Is this receiver open? No. Is this guy open? No. Third progression, boom, I'm going to make that decision. Really quickly, you have to scan the field, read the defense, see who's going to be open. And that's a skill that, you know, takes practice and takes time to learn. And these guys are actually simulating that kind of skill more before they get to the pros. And as a result, they're more NFL ready when they get there in recent years. So a guy like Robert Griffin, Andrew Luck, they may be more NFL ready than, you know, even guys five, ten years ago, the top prospects that came to the NFL. So you would you would draft an RG3 or an Andrew Luck? I, I would, and especially because they can both run. You know, Andrew Luck is super fast. I mean, Andrew Luck is super accurate and somewhat fast, and RG3 is super fast and also a good pocket passer. So I would draft either of those guys. Not super high, but I would, I would and, draft them. And I like, I like what you said about, about these gentlemen t talking about that, but do you think that the success of Cam Newton last year will accelerate people's like, excitement about drafting rookies? I think RG3 is going to get a boost maybe in some circles because of Cam Newton because they think, oh, the running QB, that you know, uh, that, that's the guy I need. He's going to be a monster. You know, Cam Newton had 14 touchdowns, 700 rushing yards. RG3 can get 700 rushing yards. I don't think he's going to get 14 rushing touchdowns. He's a different type of player. He's not that goal line massive guy that Newton is. Newton's like Steve McNair 2.0, and RG3 is more like Michael Vick or maybe even like a Steve Young, like a fast guy, maybe not as fast as Vick, but like a Steve Young, like a fast guy who's really a, a good passer. So they're a little different, but I do think because of Newton's success, some of those guys may get a boost. Great. You heard it here.